Hey everyone, welcome to the Inside Scoop. I'm CNET's Kara Suboy, joined by senior writer Seth Rosenblatt. Seth covers Google, and Google has been in the headlines a lot this week. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the Gmail update. As mm -hmm. a Gmail user, I'm really interested in these new tabs that are coming out. Yes, so your Gmail will soon have tabs across the top, which will automatically filter your primary email, it'll filter your social networking emails, huh. it will filter your deals updates. And uh, it, it's really quite an interesting look for Gmail. It's a new thing to help people filter the email better because in the past you've had to create filters. Right. This is all automatic. What's nice about the new Gmail is that you can turn it off and the old interface is still there. Will these tabs be available on both the browser version and the mobile version? Mm -hmm. So the apps will be getting an update for Android and iOS and the web browser will also update. And this will be rolling out? In the next few weeks. Okay. Also, Google made an announcement about their new music service mm -hmm. becoming available for iOS. Absolutely. Tell us more. Uh, again, we don't know too much. They haven't said much at this point. Um, but Google's uh, All Access mm -hmm. will be available for iOS sometime in the next few weeks, possibly uh, as late as June or July. They haven't said. This is a new music streaming service mm -hmm. that was announced earlier in May. Mm -hmm. And how has it been received so far for Android users? Uh, so far, it seems like Android users like it. Uh, when you sign up for it, and it's separate from the standard Google Music, which allows you to get all of your music when you want streaming over the cloud, um, this is more like Spotify for Google, um, although it's all run out of the same app. Uh, if you sign up now, you get a 30-day free trial, and if you sign up before June 30th, it's $7.99 per month. Thereafter, it's $9.99 per month. All right, so we'll keep an eye out for that one. Mm -hmm. And finally, Google has also announced uh, that they're sort of getting into the nutrition or calorie counting business. Yes, there's nothing that they don't touch, apparently. <laughs> How is this going to work? Uh, so basically, Google Now, which is their knowledge graph made real, it's this en enormous database of, of almost 600 million things uh, pieces information and data and, and all the and the ability to tell the difference between uh, the king's team and the king of Thailand stuff like that wow. um, will be available nutrition information will now be available in Google now so you can look up um, say how many calories are in an apple and it will pull up a card that says how many calories are in an apple and how is that going to work do you use your voice or do you type it oh. you could do both you could okay. do both okay and the point of this <laughs> uh, I guess Google wants people to live longer so that you can continue to buy their services, uh, <laughs> get people locked in longer. But this is a free service. This is free. This is part of Google Now uh, and uh, Google Search. And we expect it to roll out in the near future. Again, in the near future, Google's been very noncommittal recently on its announcements. All right. Fascinating stuff. A lot to look forward to. Thank you so much, Thank senior you, writer Seth Rosenblatt. I'm Cara Seboy. Thanks for watching the Inside Scoop.